the federal government's dismissal of the position of former president Olusha Gombasanjo on its economic performance in the past two years has mere distraction. Disputing that the records of the administration surface posted a stride in the economy of the country, Minister of Information and Culture Lai Mohammed, who is also the spokesman for the federal government, says President Muhammad Buhari's economic outing remains unprecedented in the history of Nigeria. Osaito Sadebawe reports. Lai Mohammed says there is so much to showcase by this administration to prove its fulfillment of the mandate secured from Nigerians through the ballot in 2015. These successes touches on all fairs of the nation's economy. Economy. Foreign reserves have peaked at 40 billion and above, the highest lev level in about four years, and this was all from about 24 billion just a year ago. Even though when we came in, the price of oil had crashed woefully. The minister also points out that the nations had made significant savings under this administration in the course of attacking corruption in the public service and other acts of economic sabotage that undermines the nation's economy. Lai says the successes may have eluded the former president due to his very tight schedule. However, for the records, the nation has advanced in agriculture, he says. This, he notes, is evident in a reduction of rice import from 644 metric tons to 22,000 metric tons in just two years. On maize production, the Minister of Information says Nigeria is producing 10 million tons while the nation needs about 13 million tons for both human and animal production, as well as nutrition, adding that Nigeria leads the world in the yam and cassava production, accounting for about 70% of the world's yam production. The nation is also being saved about 24.7 billion naira monthly with the full implementation of a single treasury account. The elimination of ghost workers has saved the nation over 120 billion naira and, and at about $1.8 billion. The capital inflow in the second quarter of 2017 were almost doubled, were almost double the 908 million in the first quarter. The minister says the impact of these agroeconomic activities will soon manifest to ease the lives of Nigerian citizens as the bumper harvest expected this year will force down prices of foodstuffs, especially such staple as rice. Already, he knows that 5.2 million primary school children in 28,249 schools across 19 states are being fed daily while 200,000 unemployed graduates have enlisted into the End Power Job Scheme and a quarter of a million loans already distributed to artisans, traders, and farmers to enhance their individual and societal economic activities. For the Minister of Information and Culture, Nigeria will be better for it as the administration continues to work. Osaiti Osadebame, Core TV News, Abuja.